I'm Bram. And I'm Coco. And so this is our mystery box. Okay. Different things that are associated with your life and stories and things. Okay. And so we would like you to pull different things out. And All right. And like, Is anything going to bite? No. Probably gonna bite. not. And okay. so. Pull things out. So, yeah, this is our. Carpe diem. No. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah. So this is a t-shirt from our school. <laughs> and it. Yes. It's like associated with your wife having cancer oh, and yes. seizing the day. And my son. Oh, your two, son. Two, yeah. Oh, okay. My son and my wife, and they're both fine yeah. now. And Carpe Diem. Yes, I love it. Okay, so what's the question? Well, see, this is we're not we're not having, we're not doing questions this time. This time we're playing Jeopardy picnic with you. Okay. So you pull out an item. <laughs> you pull out an item, and you have to explain that item. Mm -hmm. I understand. I'm yes. ready to go. All right, so when you've had cancer in your family, yes. as my, am I looking at you right there? Look at them. Okay, so when you've had cancer in your family, mm -hmm. you realize very quickly how fleeting life is and how we're all on the ground in no time. Sorry to be so morbid, but you should make every day count. You should, you should, not, you should not be angry and you, if you can help it, and you should not be sad. You should try to do the best job you can and try to make the world a better place. So that's what I think. I think that carpe diem is a great way to live, and uh, it's the only way to live. Only way to live. I see so many people that go to jobs they hate for years and years and years, and then they find themselves old and looking forward to retirement, and wow. Seriously? You want to waste that much time? I don't think so. All right, let's see what's in there next. All right. Okay, so... Um... Okay, let's see if he comes up with it. I bet you this is supposed to be an ivory bill woodpecker. But an ivory bill woodpecker, when it's at rest on a tree, of course, you know, has a white shield here, a black shield, and more markings on the back. So this, this is a bird that was, let's say this is an ivory bill woodpecker. Mm -hmm. Okay? This is supposedly <laughs> something that went extinct a long time ago. Here, turn your face so you can peck on the other glass. On the other. Okay. That was supposed to go extinct a long time ago. But they think that this bird actually still survives in the, they think that, and it might still. I hope it does, because it's a great bird, and it's much friendlier than this one. Okay, let's see what's next. Okay, see wait, next. so, um, should I tell them about the woodpecker? No. I don't know, what do you want to tell them? Okay, so, um, you said your favorite, um, photo shoot was the ivory billed woodpecker. Yes. You want me to tell you more about the photograph of the ivory billed woodpecker? Yeah. More than when the woodpecker was pecking your head just now? <laughs> well, the, the people in Arkansas did a really good job of protecting this swamp forest where that type of bird would live. And they didn't drain it, dredge it, plant it to corn or soybeans. They didn't heart, log all the trees. They have a really beautiful, intact swamp forest there, seasonally flooded forest. And that bird might be a payoff for that. It's amazing. It's a really amazing, cool place to be. Okay? All right, next one. Let's see what do we have here. Okay, we have all oh, the steaming toilet. Nice. Okay, I'm going to do this one first. Trash pickup today. Let me just comment on this. Sure. Trash pickup. You know what I love? I love seeing a house have far more recyclables than garbage. Trying to make this the recyclable tub and make your trash can for one week about this big. You can do it, but you have to buy the right products. That's why they have products. Okay, should I keep going? I'm on a roll. Okay. Right. One time I hooked my toilets up to hot water by accident. I, I was not a very good plumber. And that's why you have a toilet with steam coming off of it. Did you get that off the website? Yeah. Yeah. So that, oh, it actually goes like that. So that was embarrassing. But I got them fixed. But for a while in the winter, it feels pretty good. <laughs> totally wasteful, though. Totally wasteful. All right, let's see what else in here. Schlitz. Okay, why is there a Schlitz can in here? I have no idea. I haven't had to drink. You can I haven't blame had, our teacher for that. I haven't had um, Schlitz since I was in college. It was the cheapest beer you could buy. We've been paying a lot from this book of yours. Oh, is there Schlitz mentioned in there? Oh. Talking about your dad, you said he'd often come from, right. home from work and yes. stay since Schlitz. That's right. He likes Schlitz, and he would have grilled steaks on the barbecue, and he would drink 
Schlitz, and he was underneath the, we lived underneath the final approach for Offutt Air Force Base, where World War III was going to be run, because they had the control of all the nukes. And, uh, yeah, we watched these Vulcan bombers come in, and B-52 bombers, and it was Looking Glass, the spy plane, that, or the, the plane that was going to run World War III was up in the air over our house, flying, landing it off at Air Force Base in the 70s. That's where we grew up, and he always looked up at those planes, and they were impressive, were they? All right, next. Grown-ups ahead, slow down. This I don't understand at all. <laughs> okay, so... Again, about your dad. What about your microphone? Microphone. It's for show okay. today since yeah. the camera's up. <laughs> okay, so about, about your dad again. Yeah. On your way back from fishing, your dad yeah. talks about how it used to be and how it could be. Again. Oh, yeah, that's so true. That's so true. Okay, so whenever I go see my father, you know, I'm usually blown in and blown out. He's like 84 years old. He sits around and watches TV quite a bit, and then he goes in and eats. And anyway, he's always saying to me, slow down, son. You're going too fast. Slow down. Take your time. Well, we can't get as much done if I'm going slow. <laughs> All right, let's see. Corn husk, because I'm a Nebraska corn husker. Mm -hmm. There's no story with that, really? What, this? I've had to shuck corn when we eat corn, at the corn on the cob. I went to the University of Nebraska, so I'm a corn husker. Mm -hmm. Is there another story that goes with that? Mm -hmm. Only you know. Well, you know. I'm not sure it makes good fan when it's dried out. <laughs> Tamales are wrapped in corn husks sometimes. This lion in the tree picture. Mm -hmm. This is a picture that actually um, I'm very proud of because the editor of National Geographic chose that the best picture of 2012 for the, in the magazine, which I'm very proud of that. Nice. And that was a lion that had been sleeping in that tree most of the afternoon, and I had a spotlight that I bought at a Walmart and, and plugged in the cigarette lighter of this Range Rover we were in and when he stood up we lit him up and he was and the whole experience lasted about five seconds. Huh. Wow. Hold on, watch out. Coming back in. <laughs> Coming back in. Alright, we'll just keep that right there. We'll just keep that right there. All right. Your phone? No, it's not my phone. Okay. Okay. Phone More corn. Alright, let's see what we got here. Food, fruit roll-ups. Why are there fruit roll-ups in my bag? Okay, there know. are fruit roll-ups because you said your son was partial to fruit roll-ups and is. chicken. And he's quite elusive. It's hard to find him. You know, he'll he prowls and scavenges, but only when we're not looking. So sometimes we have to hide in a blind to see him scavenge. He's like a little. He's like a little animal. Okay. No and blind, I, really. I probably threatened to, to take his ice cream away if I didn't do it. How'd that happen? Perfect. So that is Baby Mine. That's a song that my wife would sing to my kid all the time. That's not her singing. Very good. Very good. All right. One more thing. And it is. I have no idea what that a is. A jar of mud. A jar of mud? Why is there a jar of mud? There is a jar of mud. Because, because you have a thing about mud. How do you know you that? Like, Cause, cause you don't stopped. like to curse about mud. And what do you, you mean? think that it is the glue that binds the winter. Winter's a summer. Yeah. That's right. That's so true. That's a profound thing. I thought that was quite profound. <laughs> do you think that's profound? Yes. Turn them out. I didn't, now. I didn't even feel that. Is there a breeze or something? <laughs> All right. Well, that's very good. You guys have prepared. You guys have prepared for this interview. Very nice. So, am I going to be famous now? Yeah, maybe. Really? What? Even more especially, famous. especially in Asia. Yeah. In Asia, why is that? Why we have a that? lot of viewers in Asia. You do? Yeah. Do you have viewers in Asia? Seriously? You do? Really? You have viewers in Asia? <laughs> I hope that doesn't get through. Can you hear that? Yeah. You can keep time. <laughs> all right, well, I guess that's all the time we have today. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Thanks thank for watching.